Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel where I make videos on femininity, homemaking and simple living. So if you are interested in any of those topics then please make sure you subscribe below so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So today I decided I wanted to film a home tour. I was actually going to film a clean with me and then it just felt a little bit strange. I feel like in normal life you wouldn't invite a friend into your home and then immediately just start cleaning in their face. <laughs> so I thought it would feel a little bit more natural to sort of show you around my home before uploading that video. My home is something I'm really proud of, it's something that really represents me and I've spent a long time choosing pieces and putting things together so that it really does symbolise everything I love and am as a person. So the sort of decor I love is sort of warm cozy cottagey vibes. I love any sort of old English teapots and things like that. I have a very feminine style but I also like to combine that with just a really warm feeling in the home which makes people want to come in and have a cup of tea and take their shoes off. So my home is actually a two bedroom bungalow slash cottage. So it's quite a small little home which just suits me down to the ground. In every corner of my home you will find different pictures or bits and bobs that I've collected over the years. I suppose you could call me the opposite of a minimalist and my style is sort of the opposite of what's really in fashion right now which is that sort of grey and white minimal sort of vibe. I'm the complete opposite. <laughs> I did actually try at one point to be a minimalist around the home and that's just not something that suited my personality and it just made my home not feel as warm and cosy. So a lot of the stuff in my home is actually from charity shops or hand-me-downs from family members so it's not like it's completely unattainable. If you are wanting a similar sort of vibe in your home I highly recommend looking in charity shops in the home section because they always have really great things. Okay so I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm sure you all just want to get into the home tour. Okay so welcome to my home. This is the first thing you see as you walk through my front door. It's quite a small area um, so the main thing we have is this ottoman and a cushion that we just keep some shoes and plastic bags in. Murphy is just licking the floor being a strange pup as he always is and this is our little welcome mat that I'm standing on right now. So this is our window next to the door and the thing I loved about it when we moved in is this log for a window ledge. Sorry about my car sort of ruining the vibes but I just have an old Singer sewing machine that my mum's had for years there. That little Yorkie in a bag, I actually found that in a charity shop and I just had to have him because he looks so similar to Murphy. And then we just have that lamp. Then this shelving unit we just kind of use for decoration and displaying, obviously, a picture of Murphy. We also have our wedding fund there and just a few little knickknacks. And we just have this plaque that says, warm hearts and cold noses make this house a home, which I absolutely love because it couldn't be more true. Okay so this is our hallway so we have a giant big mirror just to open up the space and we also have a Welsh dresser down at the bottom which I will show you in a little bit. So the first room that we get to is our living room so I'm just going to take you through that now. So first we have the crucial little office area since we're all working from home at the moment. This was our little makeshift area so this is what we have been making do with. Then straight next to that we just have our giant L-shaped sofa which is the comfiest thing and then we just have our coffee table here as well and we have a little Yorkie making the shot a lot more aesthetic. <laughs> In this corner we also have another sofa. Honestly this sofa is the comfiest thing. We just got it from a charity shop close to us. And then we just have this little unit that we use to display a light and some candles. So next to that unit we have Murphy's little basket of toys that he can easily get to. So he loves his toys and he's always getting them out. So I've put them in that basket for this tour, but usually they're all around the home. 
We then have one of my favourite aspects of the home and this is this log burner that we had when we moved in and it's absolutely amazing at Christmas time and it just gives everything the best vibe. So I just keep some logs below it and some logs in this basket by the side. And then next to that we just have our TV unit and TV space where we watch a lot of Netflix. At the moment, I've been binge watching The Handmaid's Tale. So that is basically our living room. As you can see, I like to go for a very warm and cozy cottagey vibe. So we have lots of blankets, lots of warm lighting, and I like to have a lot of candles in the evening as well. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take you through my Welsh dresser. So first of all, next to it, we have this little cupboard, which I just keep a few cleaning supplies in, and this lovely plaque that says, welcome to our happy home. Then this is our Welsh dresser that I keep teapots and any really nice ornaments in. And I also have this cake stand. A lot of what I found here has been hand-me-downs from family members or got from charity shops. So it's a bit eclectic. I really like sort of old fashioned English style. So I just collect anything like that. And then next to the Welsh dresser, we just keep our ironing board and area, which isn't the most aesthetic thing, but it has to be kept somewhere. Then directly opposite the Welsh dresser, we have these four stairs, which then lead us up to my kitchen. So this is my kitchen. It is really lovely and large, which is one of the things I loved about the house when I moved in. So we just keep our fridge here and on the side we have a little cork board where I can keep any lists of shopping lists that I need to get or things that I need to do, to do. And then we also keep fridge magnets of any places that we have traveled to. Obviously not many places this year in 2020 with everything that's happened. And then here is my little tea station and hot chocolate station, which is just essential for every British home. You need one section dedicated to your kettle and tea bags. And this is great for me because we have the sink right next to it and we also have the fridge for my milk and then in that cupboard above I keep my mugs. So this is my sink area and above it I just keep this washing up sort of caddy and that just tidies up everything like fairy liquid. I hate the look of fairy liquid just left on the side so I just got that from eBay. And then spinning around I keep some eggs in an egg basket. I keep all my wooden utensils in this little jug and then I keep some more utensils above the hob as well. Then this side of the kitchen, we have a little breakfast bar here, which we like to eat our breakfast on, obviously. But to be honest, most of the time we do eat in the living room. Then we have Murphy's little section here. So this is actually his crate. Um, I never intended to crate train him, but one of our friends had one and he was obsessed with it. So we got him this one um, and we just keep a blanket over it at night because he likes it to be dark. And then this wooden slab, I just ordered to size and then painted cream. Then we have his dog food, his little bunny. <laughs> And then we keep some treats for him in this little box. Then next to it, we just keep these baskets, which are full of aprons, tea towels, and some of Murphy's jumpers. Then we have these shelves, which I absolutely love. I just use these to display my tea set and anything really pretty that just doesn't deserve to be shoved away in a cupboard. Then I just have some recipe books here. Um, this usually has kitchen roll on it. And then I have my Magimix, my toaster, biscuit tin, and my favorite mixing bowl, which again, I just don't want to put in a cupboard. So this is my kitchen. Again, I go for cozy cottage vibes. We didn't have much choice over the kitchen when we moved in. It was this sort of glossy finish which isn't my favourite, but I feel like everything I have in here sort of makes it feel less modern and glossy and more sort of warm and cottagey. Okay, now we're moving on to the master bedroom. So this is where I sleep, obviously. <laughs> the thing I love about my bed is I have loads of pillows and blankets, which I feel just makes it so much warmer and cosy. We then just have a bedside table and then I have this radiator cover from eBay. I just have this box which I keep a few hair bubbles and bits and 
pieces in. I then have these two pieces of art which are just really feminine and sort of vintagey looking which I absolutely love and I've had these for years since my childhood bedroom. Then opposite the bed I have my little makeup station. So this is where I sit in the morning and do my makeup and have a cup of tea. So this mirror was originally a Laura Ashley mirror and I just got these lights from Amazon and stuck them around to make sure I had white light for doing my makeup because that's the best to really see what you're doing and what colours are turning out like so that you don't step out into natural light and then all of a sudden look really orange. And then on this side of the room I just have all of my wardrobes so i'm not going to show you inside all of the wardrobes but the main wardrobe i wanted to show you in is this one where i keep all of my dresses so i've had a few comments recently about where i get my dresses i actually mainly shop in charity shops so most of these are from charity shops i do have more than this as well um, but I usually put my summer ones away once it's the cooler months in the UK. And then within my wardrobe, I just have loads of little boxes which I label with the different things to help me store things. So I'll just show you in this one as well. I've got the same thing, everything just sort of labelled and organised. And then I just have this little window seat which I got from eBay and I just keep some hair products and things like that in. And then I have this big bear that I got from Paul a couple of years ago for Valentine's Day. And then another thing I love about our bedroom is that you can step out directly into the garden. We usually have a little seating area with cushions on but as you can see it's a really rainy day today so that's not happening. <laughs> but it just gives you sort of like a holiday feel as well we have an olive tree there as well so it feels very sort of mediterranean so this is our second bedroom which currently i'm using as my office and paul is in the living room and then we just have a little gym section so we have a bench a uh, spin bike which i have been using every day i absolutely love it and then we have a couple of weights down there as well which paul likes to use so above my desk i just have some really nice frames of things that motivate me but more than anything they just look nice so that's the little setup i have for work and obviously usually i have all of my stuff on there and then i just have this full length mirror as well which we can use for checking out our outfits and making sure that we look okay because it's actually the only full length mirror we have in this home then finally this is the bathroom so it's just very light and bright in here we have our sink um, a bath and then we have a separate shower on this side as well and then I just like to decorate it with some fake flowers and candles and I love this sign which says calm which is exactly how I feel because I have baths nearly every single night I absolutely love them okay so that is my home I really do hope that you love it as much as I do it may not be everyone's style but I just feel so at home here and every time I get in I just feel so so grateful and I've never felt more grateful for my home than this year when we've been forced to spend so much time in it and it's really just reaffirmed for me how important homemaking is and making a space that you absolutely love it's really not been a chore for me to stay at home I've really really enjoyed it so I really hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you've picked up a little bit of inspiration for your homes too if you did enjoy it then please make sure you like this video and subscribe and I will see you in my next video which will be the clean with me that I have promised so I will see you then.